بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہوپ آل آف یور فائن آئی ایم یور بایولوجی ٹیچر اینڈ مائی نیم از فرح انجم ویلکم ٹو ایپ سکس آن لائن سپورٹ پروگرام دس از ویک فور ڈے تھری آر چیپٹر نمبر سیون بایو انرجیٹکس اینڈ لیکچر نمبر تھری آف دس چیپٹر لیٹس ری کیپ آر پریویس نالج وی ہیو لرن دا ڈفرینس بٹوین آکسیڈیشن اینڈ ڈیڈکشن both of uh, both are collectively called redox reaction oxidations means addition of oxygen loss of hydrogen and loss of electron and reductions mean loss of oxygen but gain of proton and gain of electron the third topic of this chapter is atp atp stands for adenosine triphosphate atp dissolves energy currency The major energy currency of all cell is a nucleotide. Basically, it is a nucleotide called adenosine triphosphate. It is the main energy source for majority of the cellular function. Okay, uh, like uh, synthesis of macromolecules inside the cell, that is DNA, RNA, and protein. Second one is movement. Third, transmission of nerve impulse. Fourth. active transport and fifth is exocytosis and endocytosis this point is very important class that it is the main energy source for uh, what of the majority of the cellular functions okay you have to answer this question the five basic points that synthesis of macromolecule movement transmission of nerve impulse active transport exocytosis and endocytosis discovery of atp ATP is discovered by Carl Lohmann in 1929. Okay, this is the very important point for your MCQs. Okay, note down and highlight this point. Okay, there is the explanation of its discovery that ATP donates much of its chemical energy, where E denotes the energy to energy requiring process like biosynthesis, transport by undergo undergoing the breakdown to ADP. and inorganic phosphate this pi is actually the i is the inorganic and p is the phosphate so atp was discovered in extracts of skeletal muscles by carl lohmann and uh, later it was found to be present in all types of cells animals plants and microbial organisms fritz a lipmann popularly known as father of atp cycle because he introduced energy rich bonds of biomolecules such as atp and adp adp atp and cellular respiration we are going to discuss the detail about atp structure and its function what is atp atp is the energy currency used by all cells and it stands for adenosine triphosphate okay it's a organic molecule containing high energy phosphate bonds now i am going to show you the picture or the structure of atp so here is the chemical structure of atp class it consists of three basic parts you can see the highlighted portion three highlighted portion blue pinkish and greenish color okay so the first part is nitrogenous base in blue highlighted color it is a nitrogenous base then in pink color you can see it's a sugar five carbon ribose sugar you can see 1 2 3 4 5 carbon sugar so that's why we called it ribose sugar okay then in green highlighted point this is there are present three phosphate groups okay so this is the basic structure or chemical structure of atp here um, there are four types of bases but in atp the adenine base is present okay four bases are adenine guanine cytosine and thymine this one is adenine if there is present guanine we can say it as gtp okay the base and sugar is collectively called 
adenosine what it is called adenosine and three phosphates are called triphosphates a stands for collectively base and sugars are called adenosine and these are three phosphates okay if there are two phosphate present then what we call it we call it as adp adenosine diphosphate if only one phosphate is present then it is called amp adenosine monophosphate so it is a nucleotide or a structure of atp if anyone asks from you that what does atp do for you you can simply answer that it supplies you with energy now the question is how do we get energy from atp you can see here in these three phosphate bonds these bonds are high energy bonds you can see by breaking the high energy bonds between the last two phosphates in atp energy is released by breaking these bonds energy is released okay now you think that how these bonds can break these phosphate bonds can break by any hammer no dear students by adding water these phosphate bonds can be break okay so this process is called addition of water is called hydrolysis hydro mean water and lysis mean to break down we add water to break these phosphate bonds okay now how does that happen it can be happen with the help of an enzyme atpase enzyme dear students when atpase enzyme added phosphate bonds are break you can see in this figure three phosphate bonds are not broken by hammer but with the help of enzyme called atpase the three in upper side you can see three phosphate bonds in lower side you can see two phosphate bonds remain and one is leaving the full molecule and energy is released you can see energy is released in this process because this inorganic phosphate is a high energy molecule now the left one molecule is called adp as i have told you that when two phosphates are left these are called diphosphates so adenosine diphosphate is left and energy how much energy is released 7.3 kilocalorie per mole remember this point okay when one bond of phosphate is uh, is break down or is released from the atp molecule energy released is 7.3 kilocal per mole okay now you think that can be remade this atp yes the reverse of the previous process occurs with the help of another enzyme the enzyme is used is atp synthetase we are going to again um, remade atp so we use here the enzyme atp synthetase the enzyme synthetase is used to make atp okay so the making and breaking of atp bond is represented here when the triphosphate bond is broken down the enzyme atpase is used and and energy is released that is 7.3 kilocalorie per mole and the left one is adp adenosine diphosphate but when we again phosphate bond is added with the help of enzyme atp synthetase and energy is utilizing in this process and again how much energy is utilizing in this process this is 7.3 kilocalorie per mole i hope you have understood this basic concept of atp making and breaking process when is atp made in the body okay when it is made during a process called cellular respiration that take place both in animal and plants dear students inshallah we will learn about cellular respiration in coming lectures okay So ATP is present in all type of uh, uh, organisms, plants, animals, microorganisms, and it is made during the process of cellular respiration.
your homework is your students draw the structure of atp which i have shown you the uh, three basic parts base ribose sugar and phosphate okay clearly uh, make the structure and properly make the bonds okay then after that you should read the whole topic from the book highlight the important points and learn the full topic understand then after that you have any question you can ask from me thank you dear students take care and have a nice day